Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Syllabus reference. Show understanding and purpose and benefits of networking devices. And also we'll be covering show understanding of the characteristics of LAN and WAN. Local area network and wide area network. Right. So this is what we are going to cover in today's session. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, why networking, right? You all know networking is when, you know, two or more computers, they are connected together. So connection of two or more devices, right? But why do we do that? We do that so that we can share data and resources. So when we talk about data, we talk about documents, files, right? And when we talk about resources, we talk about, uh, for example, printer sharing, right? These kind of devices that we want to share. So these kind of resource sharing is also done. Then these devices, they can be connected via wired or wireless medium. So using cables or, you know, without cables, wireless medium, we can use to connect these devices. So that is networking, right? Now, why, why do we do networking? What is the purpose and benefits of networking devices? So let's start with benefits uh, first. So... First of all, we connect our devices to each other so that we can share data with each other. You know, we sometimes we have to transfer some files from one computer to another. Sometimes we keep files at one computer and, you know, we all want to collaboratively, we all want to work on that file, right? Sometimes storage is less, so we just want to uh, uh, keep all the data at one place. Right. So there are many benefits. So starting with sharing of data. Right. For example, document sharing, file sharing, then sharing of resources like printer sharing then better connectivity. You can send, you know, messages across to all the connected uh, devices, data backup. You can keep data as backup in case of a system failure, you can always rely on some other system where your backup is taken, right? Faster problem solving by work division. So all the computers, they can divide their work amongst themselves and you can figure out the solution of any problem uh, more fast, right? Reliability in case of any system failure, as I said, in case a system is not working right in the networks. Um, many computers are connected and one computer suddenly, you know, stops working. Then you can rely on other systems for data and, you know, resources. Then flexible in terms of adding and removing nodes. You can add man as many computers you want to add. You can, you know, take out some computers from the network. So it is very, very flexible. Security by a uh, via access rights, account account passwords, etc. So you can create uh, uh, accounts, you can provide passwords to, you know, those accounts. And then also you can give access rights who is authorized to uh, uh, read a file, who is authorized to write into some files. So these kind of access rights you can give for security. So these are some benefits of networking devices. Now, limitations. When we talk, talk about limitations so initially when we uh, you know uh, start connecting all the devices so initially it can be expensive you know cabling and you know uh, if you need a server or if you need any hubs or switches or any other uh, networking devices so it can be expensive right then because all the computers, they are connected with each other. So malware, malicious software, including virus, worm, Trojan horses, they can easily spread out to all the devices. Then system can get hacked because your system is connected to other systems. So more prone to hacking and all. 
technical expertise required to manage the network not any you know it's not possible for each and every one to manage these networks we need some net uh, technical person is required some it expert is required who has uh, knowledge about hardware and software both right breakdown of devices such as file servers can affect the whole network right so in case some files are only saved on some particular system and that system stops working. So in that case, breakdown of devices actually can affect the whole servers when everybody is relying on some server and that server is down. So whole net network will be affected because of that. Okay, now, uh, this is not mentioned in your syllabus. However, uh, you know, reference is given in your one of your reference books. So I have also mentioned here first ever network which was created is known as ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. That's the full form. So ARPANET was the first computer network known, right? And this was uh, created by Department of Defense in USA. So it is known as early form of uh, packet switching and also uh, WAN, where a number of computers, they were connected together to share uh, confidential information in the Department of Defense in USA. Right, later it was expanded to the university computers and uh, slowly and steadily it took the form that we all uh, you know are part of which is known as internet so it started with this and now it has taken form of internet right so that's about purpose and benefits of networking devices now we'll have a look at uh, network types now, under network types, we have two types that you need to learn as per your syllabus, LAN and WAN. So we'll start with LAN. LAN is local area network, right? As the name suggests, it is created within very small geographical area like a building or a campus, right? Uh, so within a small geographical area, and that area can be within 10 meters to 1,000 meters, right? not beyond that. A number of computers and devices, they are connected via hubs or switches. So a hub or a switch is used to connect different devices. And in order to connect LAN to the internet, one of the hub or switch, they can be connected to the router and or modem, right? So that's uh, LAN. Now, if we talk about characteristics, <laughs> limited geographical area, I've already spoken about it, home, office building, or a campus. This, this is the size, 10 meter to 1,000 meters. High transfer rates, because uh, geographical area is very limited and number of computers are also very small. So high transfer uh, data transfer rates are there. Then resource sharing is done here. Low latency means minimal data transmission delays, right? Because computers are uh, closely connected and kept in close proximity. So minimal data transmission delays are there. Easy to set up and manage, usually owned by, this is very important point when, you know, in past paper questions and their marking schemes, they, these points are written. These three points, they are basically written. So usually owned by organization or a company, right? And transmission medium that is used in LAN is twisted pair cable or Wi-Fi. All the computers in a LAN, they are connected through twisted pair cable. We'll learn about all these cabling and about all this uh, uh, wireless. So wired and wireless medium we'll learn in upcoming sessions. Uh, however, right now you only need to understand that LAN, it is 
owned by some company or an organization. And transmission medium, computers are connected either through twisted pair cable or Wi-Fi. And there will be end systems connected. You know, individual systems, they are connected with uh, each other, right? And plus, this is very, very important, limited geographical area spread across 10 meter to 1000 meter. So these are very, very important points, right? Then comes benefits. So if we talk about benefits, very fast and efficient communication, resource sharing, of course, collaboration can be done, enhanced security, because the individual computers, they'll have their own, you know, security measures taken. Limitations are limited coverage. It's very small area. It's only limited coverage cost uh, because we need hubs and switches and, uh, you know, cabling. So uh, initial setup is always costly. Scalability limitations due to a uh, smaller area. Uh, you cannot uh, add uh, more computers to it. Dependency on physical infrastructure, right? You need cables, you need hubs and switches to uh, create a LAN, right? So this is all about local area network. Now we'll talk about wide area network, which is WAN. Now WAN is networked computers could be thousands of kilometers apart. So WAN is a networking type in which computers, they are connected, uh, you know, uh, which are thousands of kilometers apart from each other. Now let's have a have a look at characteristics. As we have already seen, WAN is basically spread across the world, right? It is not just individual computers; they are connected to each other. In fact, uh, there are many many other smaller networks. They are connected to uh, you know to form a bigger WAN. So wide area network. It is worldwide. It is spread worldwide. Right, so wide coverage area, uh, thousand kilometers over to over thousand kilometers, it is spread. Uh, lower data transfer rates in comparison to land. Uh, interconnectivity uh, relies on public or private private networks because there are many many, uh, you know, sub networks and networks and you know there are many lands, there are many mans bands. They all are connected together to form a van. Higher lat latency, because there are many, many, uh, you know, uh, computers, they are uh, connected, computers are spread across the world. So delays are possible here. The data transmission medium will be fiber optics. Here, fiber optics or uh, through wired satellites and, you know, uh, other wi wireless uh, medium will be used, usually not owned by organization or company, right? This is just the opposite of LAN. LAN is normally owned by an organization or company. However, WAN is usually not owned by the organization or company. There will be, there will not be any end systems. In fact, there will be many other smaller networks which are uh, connected together to form a these points are important because when uh, in the past paper questions they'll ask you to compare land with when or they'll compare uh, they'll ask you you know write major main characteristics about when so you can write these points right now benefits geographical flexibility scalability centralized management cost savings limitations lower data transfer rates higher cost, reliance on external networks, security risks, right? These are some benefits and limitations, right? You can just read through and you can expand them as per your requirement. Now, there are few more network types also which are not specifically mentioned in your syllabus. However, uh, because we are learning this topic, so I'm, I have mentioned it here. There is PAN personal area network, which is also known as a home system, right? When you connect your uh, uh, computers of a home where one uh, uh, 
phone is connected with uh, your uh, laptop or desktop, right? A home system, basically. And its size is 1 meter to 10 meters, not beyond that. Then we also have MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. It is spread across a city, you know, usually a cable TV connection. It is spread across a city, so any cable operator they used to uh, provide a uh, whole city with cable TV cable cable TV connections. So that is metropolitan area network across the city, not between the cities, but across a city, and it is spread across one meter to hundred kilometers, one kilometer to hundred kilometers, right? Now, let's have a look at a past paper question. It is a uh, specimen paper 2021. So, 9618 specimen paper 1, year 2021. This is not a past paper. Basically, this is a specimen paper. Right? Okay, question is, uh, a company uh, has a LAN, local area network, that has hybrid topology. We'll learn about topologies also later. Now, they have simple question. They have asked, describe the characteristics. Now, the command word is describe. So, you have to write main features. You know, you don't have to explain. You just have to write main features of about, uh, you have to write characteristics of the LAN. So, we have just learned up there. You can write any of these. So, sorry, here. Yeah. So, small geographical area, these small limited geographical area, right? Uh, then you can write usually owned by an organization. Transmission medium will be twisted per cable or Wi Fi. End systems are connected, and so on. We have all these, uh, you know, characteristics. You can pick any two and write here because this is a two marks question. So, you can write any two. And you'll get uh, full marks. So I have already written here. So these points we can just pick and write here. Okay. So this is spread across across small geographical area, right? Uh, usually owned by an organization or company. Transmission medium is usually twisted pair cable or Wi-Fi. The end system, uh, like user systems or servers are connected. So any two you can write and you'll get full marks. Right? So that's all for today. We have covered uh, LAN and WAN. And also we have covered networking uh, understanding of the purpose and benefits of networking devices. So that's all for today. Thank you.